guys, it's Rowan here again. So I want to quickly do a video on what has transpired in the last four weeks or so. Um, I was riding at a track here in East London and yeah, I was high-sided. So I had a pretty nasty fall. Um, this is the bike at the moment. I haven't, it's all dirty and stuff. I um, haven't really had time to clean it up and do all the, all the rest of it. So I just want to show you guys what I have done. Um, okay, this bolt over here in the tank, I think that's a common thing. Um, the actual housing itself has stripped in there, so I put practically steel. I've Googled it and whatever, that's what the guys recommended. That's what I've done, so hoping that uh, that will hold. Then another thing is a radiator. Okay, that's I've straightened it out as best I could, but I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to put these plastics down. Um, so what happened was this area over here, it is pretty much, you can still see by these fins here, yeah, that's pretty much as far bent in. It was bent probably up until about there. So this is pretty much half mooned in. And yeah, so I've taken off, I straightened the fins as best I could. You can see right through there. So I've, I've got it that pretty cool. Um, so that was all bent. I managed to take that off. I straightened it. I bought more coolant, etc. I was just, I put, I put the stuff in and just bleed the air, etc. Out. Um, and then another thing is, the side, the side shroud. Yeah, that's broken. I mean, yes, you can pretty see how scratched up that is. Uh, that's the the piece right there. So that would go something like that. It's broken in half. So that thing is is finished. Um, then to put this down. Furthermore, I've straightened the handlebars, but um, yeah, it wasn't quite the handlebars that was bent. I think I think what it is is it's got these little. If you can see right here, the the clamps itself. So what happens is it moves and it can shift around, loosen them up and straighten them. So it's as best I could get it. It's not yeah, it's straight. So I mean it's not bent or anything. The lever, my yeah, these are the import levers. They scratched up. Uh, this housing, this little boot over here is also scratched up. This is all scratched up over here. And then just obviously like you know, just normal wear and tear on the um stickers as such. So what I want to ask you guys, oh that hour meter is hanging here. So what I want to ask you guys is I'm busy doing a, a bit of a revamp on my bike. So while I've got th uh, this piece here wrecked, um, I want to know from you guys, what do you think I should go with color? So there's obviously all different uh, there's schemes and or, or, um, or colors rather. So I want to know what you guys think I should go with. Should I go with all green? Um, obviously changing out all the, all the plastics to green. Or should I go with, you know, black front, green back, black seat with, uh, with, green, with green ribs over. Uh, I'm not too sure. So I want to hear from you guys, any suggestions and furthermore, or possibly green, green number board, green front mud guard, green fork guards at the bottom and then green louvers inside here. Yeah? I've got black ones at the moment. So I've, well, this side, yeah, you can see it's black. So I want to, I want to change it up a bit. Um, you know maybe completely green front and then black at the back so keep this black black shroud here black seat cover which i'll get obviously keep this all black black everything else is black all the way through so i've it's uh, yeah just excuse the bike it's dirty haven't really washed it um so yeah i just want to hear from you guys you know what you think i should do all green half green half black all black i don't know so I'm going to do a video again. I'm going to strip everything off uh, when the other plastic and stuff arrive. As soon as I've decided and had some feedback on what to do, I'm going to be doing another video where I'm going to unbox all the plastics, etc. I don't want to reveal too much. Um, sticker kit wise, I know exactly where I'm going. Um, there's a local guy in East London. So I'll be going with him and he'll be doing my sticker kit. And so I already decided on that. I'm just thinking of colors, but obviously now with the colors of the plastics, that sticker kit could vary, so I might have to change the sticker kit up a little bit. But for now, I um, just want to hear some feedback on stickers, etc. It's also a bit more surprises in the pipeline. I'm going to get my bike up and going for the upcoming racing season. I think it's starting on the 8th of Feb at Shane's Track out at Kaiser's. So let's have a look. And yeah, if I can have some feedback from you guys or, or any feedback, I don't know, inbox me or leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think and or what you would personally do if this is your bike. I don't hear any comments, I'll throw it away and buy KTM. <laughs> Terence, no Hondas, bud. 
So yeah, st sticking to, to Kawasaki, what would you guys suggest I do with color-wise? Okay, cool. Thanks, guys.